Hey folks, um, of all the dollar stores that we have here, the ones that are called Dollar Giant are uh, owned by some like company in BC. Well, um, they still say uh, Dollar Giant on the stores, but it turns out um, this American uh, dollar store company called Dollar Tree, they're now expanding and those are turning into uh, Dollar Trees. So, I mean, I don't remember ever seeing uh, energy drinks or anything like that in Dollar Giant before. But a couple weeks ago, when I was in one of the other, one of the cities nearby, right? Um, that's how I found the Stacker 2 uh, Orange uh, shot. And some other, and another energy drink in there. Now, um, since then, I recently was in another dollar store and it still said the Dollar Giant on it. They had the Orange Stacker 2 shot. And they had a Stacker 2 shot that was, uh, I think, like lemon lime flavored because there's supposed to be a bunch of uh, six hour power different flavors so one of these days I might pick that one up to give it a try but they also have these energy drink cans in there from Rip It now um, years ago I think I tried the power one out but whichever one I tried out I found gross and didn't like since um, then folks uh, last year came when at some point last year I picked up all the other flavors that we have available to us and reviewed them. With sugar-free power, if you leave some in the can, like sitting in your fridge open for a while, it eventually ends up having like a strawberry kind of taste to it, but it doesn't at first. Now, um, I still can't get all their uh, flavors. We still don't have any of their shots, and we don't have their uh, Gatorade, Powerade, Sports kind of drink thing they make now. But anyways, this uh, Dollar Giant that's now supposed to be like Dollar Tree, they get Rip It cans, but guess what? Our Rip It cans, there's not too many like gas stations or corner stores that have them, but the ones that do, they're $1.99 for like 15 or 16 ounces. Now these cans, I think it's kind of like a marketing scam because you might see them and think, oh, am I getting more Rip It than before? Because how those other cans might make you think of like a Coke or a Pepsi can. But uh, these cans for the new, for this dollar store, they're a different size, they're uh, smaller, and they're actually like a, anywhere from a, about a dollar thirteen to a dollar twenty-five cheaper. You get it for one dollar, nothing more, nothing less. But they're these slim, tall, skinny cans, and they end up equaling twelve ounces. So you actually get less for less money. It's all the same flavors as before, but the fruit punch one, folks. Um, on the bigger size version, that's $1.99, they say F-bomb, but um, I know this one gas station sold out of that flavor, but for the skinny cans, they try to fit in fruit bomb as the saying, it's still the same way they do F-bomb, but then they try and write the other letters in to spell fruit, so the first time I noticed that, I thought I was saying F-U-bomb, but I picked that one up to start, so that's what it is. Um, we get six of their flavors. If we ever get the different ones I've never had before, I'll review them. But if I want, I can try all the other ones out. I'll just have to give like five dollars to get the other ones. I don't know if I'll do it. And if I ever do it, maybe I will show you guys a video of it. Maybe I won't. So far, we just get F bomb, power, sugar free power, G4, Citrus X and the Stinger Mo one. Now, Energy Fiend's trying to say, oh, I gotta go in another room for a second. Energy Fiend's trying to say that these contain, that the uh, bigger version contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, but they don't. Because these versions have the same like caffeine content as the bigger versions. Um, some flavors were saying 150 milligrams of caffeine, this flavor says 153 milligrams of caffeine, so you get 3 milligrams more than some of the flavors we have available to us. But then because there's 5 milligrams of guarana seed extract, you get another 8% caffeine. So the guarana seed extract, you add that to the caffeine content, and this can ends up having a total of 165.24 milligrams of caffeine. You get 1,515 milligrams of taurine. 
Ah, it gives you 108 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin B6 is 3 milligrams. B12 is 9 milligrams. And there's like folic acid in it. Supposedly that's like good for you and stuff. And um, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know how Dollar Trees are our dollar giants now. And that apparently there's rippets with this size now. Like I said, between a dollar thirteen to a dollar twenty-five cheaper, and you get like three or four ounces less to drink. And now look at how they try and do the f-bomb, call it fruit bomb. This is the first time I'm actually drinking one of their flavors more than once. I honestly, don't remember exactly how this tastes, but I know with uh, is with like Zenergy, I really enjoyed their fruit punch flavor. Haven't repeated it since, but I kind of wish I would. But I don't want to drink the whole thing right now, so I'm just gonna pour half into a glass. Cause this little thing I have here that I got at Christmas time from Starbucks as a gift. It's like their shot and a half, three ounces thing. So I'm just gonna drink half of this for the moment being. Let you guys see what it looks like and all that. I don't know why they couldn't just give us the same size can still and now have it finally cheaper for us or give us the other flavors but what can you do so that's the coloring it's like your red pink color smells like smells like a really sugary sweet fruit punch kind of soda but it's an energy drink so if you know what fruit punch smells like, I don't need to explain that. I'll just take a couple sips here and end the video story for the length. I rambled on too much. So they're, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, we're, I'm going to say, mind you, I haven't had like Fago's, uh, fruit punch uh, soda pop thing in a while or soda whatever you call it because it's not a flavor I can easily get and I didn't pick it up last time I seen it but to me this tastes like how I think like a fruit punch kind of a soda would taste it's a little bubbly it's got all the different fruits you can taste in it from like cherry to pineapple because it does taste a little like stuff like that and little bits of the other fruits you can taste in there, but I think cherry and pineapple stand out the most. Maybe I'll come and pick up the other flavors we have that are now in this size as well. And maybe I'll give you guys videos with them one day. That just means rippets in a couple more places, because honestly, in my city, I've only ever seen them in one place. Town over, I've seen them in two stores, a variety store and a gas station, but just a variety store here. But now because there's two dollar giants of all the different dollar stores in this uh, city, that guarantees on my side anyways in the city, two stores will have those slim can versions. So I will get to drink less of Rip It, but a little bit cheaper. Along that video, that's the Fruit Bomb. It's good. I've reviewed it in the past. The other time I had it, so I gave it a rating then, so I won't rate it now, but I'll tell you I like it. So, peace. <laughs> I got some food here. Ha <laughs> ha. Rip it.